Do you ever happen to be in your feelings while you're making music? Well, apparently I must have been when I made this beat. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crash wallower, and today I'm going to break down a sad lo-fi beat that I made in Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Productions. So if you've been following the videos that I've been posting for the last month, I've been breaking down songs off of my recently released lo-fi style beat tape, Steady Time 2, and this track is the fifth and final track of the project called Leave Me Lonely. So now I'm going to show you my process, show you the elements of the beat and why I play certain things where they are, why I made some things sound the way that they do. It helps to entertain you, educate you on things that you can do with your own music. And real quick, before we get into the video, if you like seeing content like this, please do me a really quick favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling really nice, throw in a thumbs up. So now I'm going to open up Logic Pro 10 and break down what I did to make this beat. So I don't know if I was just in my feelings at the time that I made this beat or if I was just really tired. I don't know, but to me this beat sounds really sad. So to capture that emotion of being sad, I opened up this Celesti from Omnisphere and played this. Really easy chords. I played this in the key of A minor so that I'm only using the white keys. And also a thing that I added to the sound, which you also just heard, was I added in some noise through a plugin called RC20, if which if you're not familiar with that plugin, it adds vintage retro style colors and textures to the sounds that you put it on. I have a vinyl cracking sound in the background attached to this instrument. You'll often find a lot of lo-fi songs that use some type of plugin or sample to emulate vinyl cracking sound effects in the background of their songs to really give it an old vintage classic dusty style texture so when i started mixing the song i just turned that vinyl effect down a lot just so it's more so in the background you can hear it when you're listening for it but i try to put it at a level where it's not distracting but you can still feel it so after i put that instrument down i actually layered that sound on a Rhodes that i also got from omnisphere They're both different sounds. They take up different spaces in their frequency spectrum. The Celesti sounds higher in comparison to the Rhodes. So having those both play together just makes the track feel a lot more full. So here's what they sound like together. how they're both playing really similar parts but the sounds in my ears are just complementing each other and just filling out more space in the beat that they wouldn't be able to fill on their own so those play throughout the majority of the song but of course eventually there has to be other instruments that are added to it to make different parts of the song stand out amongst others so while also on the midi keyboard another instrument that i added later on was a piano That's a piano that I got from a contact library. It plays in the background during the second verse and that adds another texture, another layer. And I only have it playing in the second verse instead of the first verse also to add another dynamic. Because with the style of music, especially in cases where it doesn't have any lyrics, you wanna be able to make the track sound interesting without sounding like a repetitive loop. Which is why I like to add things in certain places, not have them in certain places, just to make the song sound like it's evolving. So the last instrument that I added while I was on this MIDI keyboard was bass. So this is another bass sound that I found in Omnisphere and the notes that I played were just following the chords that I played on the other instruments and it sounds like this. I also threw that fill there in the latter half to just make it sound more interesting because like I said before, my goal isn't to make all of this sound like one continuous loop. It doesn't have to be overly complicated, but I still want to add little things in there to make things sound more interesting. So just like the rest of the songs that are on this beat tape, I had to find a way to fit my guitar in there somewhere. So I added in some more melodies with the guitar. So this one is the first one that I laid down for the second verse. 
I had that little line playing in there throughout the second verse. And of course that sound alone sounds boring, so I added on some RC20 to make it sound unique and make it fit in with the vibe of the rest of the track. And here's what it sounds like with the effects on it. It's got some big crushing effect going on, which to me sounds a lot more interesting in comparison to the original. And then once the second chorus hits, I drop this guitar out and I add two more. So here's the first line that I played. And here's the second line that I played. Now here's what they sound like together after I put all the effects on. Also in the full track, I have them both panned to opposite sides of the speakers so that they can really stand out on their own and really add some stereo width to this track. Especially since they're playing harmonies off of each other and you can really hear them separately since they're panned in opposite sides of the speakers. To me, it sounds really cool. I like it when tracks have this type of 3D width to them because it feels like the song surrounds you. It feels like you're inside of the song. And that separation sounds really apparent when you're listening to it on a really good pair of headphones. So here's the drum groove that I played in this track. Really simple groove, I used a somewhat of a hard hitting kick, but then also I used a softer clap sound and even had a cool little percussion fill and then this like light texture that I used as a transition effect. For the most part, the drums aren't quantized because we don't do that over here. And that's pretty much it for this track. So now I'm gonna play you a little preview of the song. If you want to check out the full song, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as in the cards. So here's a snippet of Leave Me Lonely by El Marquis Productions. <laughs> watching this video if you like what we've seen today please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever i upload new videos also be sure to visit my website elmarkeyproductions.com where you'll be able to check out my music my beats my sample kits my merchandise as well as my mixing mastering and consulting services and now go down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this video and what other topics would you like me to cover would you like me to do some specific tutorials on making lo-fi music if this is the first time that you've ever seen me i actually do make a lot more music than just lo-fi music i also make my own music with lyrics and other styles of hip-hop so i can break down some of my own songs with lyrics or i can break down songs that i've produced for other people give me some of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below my name is l marquis l marquis productions god bless